Did you guys hear that Zack Snyder revealed his plan for what was going to happen in the next movie? And uh, basically what was going to happen is that Batman was going to die and then Barbara Gordon would just somehow enter into the universe. She had never been introduced or even mentioned once, but she was just going to somehow be there and then become Batman and then train uh, the son of Superman and Lois to become the next Batman. So did, then, did you know what he was originally going to do before that even, though? What? He was going to have Bruce Wayne knock up Lois Lane while Superman was dead. Yep. And then they were going to bring back Superman, and that was going to be, like, the whole, you took her from me. It was that he, like, cucked <laughs> Superman, basically. Oh, no. And then, and then hit, so it was going to be Bruce Wayne and Lois Lane's son that became Batman. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. I really... His Those ideas are aren't bad. The The big issue there is like these are characters who have been done for 80 plus years in a certain way. And it's OK to deviate in a certain way. But having Batman cuck Superman while he's dead <laughs> and having his child illegitimately and then training that child to be Batman while Superman's just off in a corner crying. <laughs> it doesn't work. In the dark side, yeah, taking over the world. Yeah, it's like this would have been good had it been a separate universe. Or, like, not even a DC property. But thing is, if this wasn't a DC property, no one would care. Dude, can you imagine <laughs> if that's the direction they'd gone, though? And then in this movie, they're like, we have to bring back Superman. And Bruce is just sitting there like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Wait a minute. <laughs> do you think maybe he, like, maybe we should him... try something else. Like... Do you think he, like, would bring him to the side and be like, look, man. She was looking pretty fine. I slipped up. Here's the situation. Uh, you have a three-month-old baby now, by the way. Have fun with that. Three I'll pay alimony. I've been dead for only six. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, it, it happens. <laughs> I really do think that from the beginning this should have been, like... And and to be fair, they didn't have, like, HBO Max and stuff back when Man of Steel was coming out. But from the beginning, this would have benefited if it was, like, an HBO series or something. Like, a Snyder-exclusive DC universe. That would have worked out great. Right, so he just needed five movies, okay? Yep. Well, he's done four, technically. So, well, he's done five. He he's has done, done five DC movies. So that, that's what I'm well, saying. Talk about like... DCEU movies all together for his universe. I feel like Zach would do better doing a mini series, like a four six episode mini series, than a movie because he doesn't understand how to actually. Um, oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this, but he kind of like doesn't understand how to make a movie. Like when he shoots his movies, literally. He just he's just like, oh, I'm going to make Justice League and I'm going to shoot like five hours of footage. And oh, yeah, edit. We'll figure it out. We'll trim it down. It's like, what? Um, Now, assembly cuts are always super, super long. True. But like I said, you know, Chris Nolan has uh, between two to five deleted scenes. So he he cuts um, from his sort of like assembly cut, so to speak. He, He maybe cuts 20 minutes. Zack Snyder cuts hours. And it's just hard to make a coherent movie when you script and draft all these scenes and you're just like, oh, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out later. We'll just cut a bunch of stuff out and make it a two and a half hour movie. You see, I mean, it, it would have been I don't know. It, it probably would have been like stripped down and kind of like organized in the reshoots if he did the reshoots himself. But since Joss, Joss Whedon did the reshoots, it probably, you know. We made it Jaws Whedon's movie, and he shortened it down to whatever he wanted to. So that's probably what happened in the background. Either way, they all splurged about like a hundred and or almost two hundred million dollars, probably more than two hundred million dollars with marketing and whatnot for just this movie, <laughs> and then this, and then the movie in twenty seventeen. I want bizarre. the Joss Whedon cut. <laughs> The Joss four Whedon hours, cut? four hours of Joss Whedon. It'd probably just be Barry <laughs> Allen going boobies, going like this, God. Like, just like waving his arms like that. <laughs> uh, that actually would be funny if then they, imagine how pissed the Snyder Cut people would be if they came out and they're like, "All right, we're giving Joss Whedon <laughs> <laughs> just to realize his do. vision." The James Cameron cut. Vision. Yeah, the Cameron cut. No, no, no. If they're like, okay, we're going to let Josh shoot his own scenes from scratch. Oh <laughs> we're going to let him make his own Justice League movie with all the same actors. And it's they're like, a, they yeah. have to do it. Except Ray just Fisher. just like a seven minute porno scene with Batman and Wonder Woman. No, I think no, Ray Fisher would be there. The be like, no, scene on no, top it, of Steppenwolf's corpse was very important to my kids. <laughs> so what, what he would do is he'd recast Ray Fisher with Don Cheadle and act like no one would notice. 
Yeah, like they, they just recast, uh, like in from Batman Begins to the Dark Knight, how there's like a different chick playing Rachel. And then that that would be funny if then you go into the third movie and just it's a different chick every time. <laughs> yeah, no, and they don't even look alike. Like, I know, that's what Maggie saying. Gyllenhaal doesn't look anything like Katie Holmes. <laughs> in the third movie, they should have got like Halle Berry or something to be uh, whoever that character was. I don't even remember her name. Rachel, I Rachel think. Rachel Dolls. Rachel Dolls. Rachel. And then she dies. <laughs> she explodes and dies. That's all I remember from that scene. One, one yeah, thing that I do think is funny. to save Two-Face instead of her? Well, because it's... Trick. Joker told him the wrong address. Oh, yeah. he switched him, right? Yeah. He pulled a, he pulled a fast one on him. <laughs> Who no one guessed? saw it coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, this guy who thrives on chaos. Hmm. Let me do exactly what he He's says. He's mixing up <laughs> the address. <laughs> what? The... <laughs> oh, no, she wasn't here. One thing that I do think is interesting is that there's like this mentality like that Zack Snyder is getting cheated out of a bunch of movies or something. But at the same time, as like an aspiring filmmaker who would love to get my hands on some of these characters at some point, I'm like, dude, he's gotten to direct more DC film content than most directors. He's directed more hours of DC content than Christopher Nolan, than Tim Burton, than Richard Donner. He's gotten a whole trilogy. And so I just think that that's kind of an interesting mentality that like, because they're not letting him direct like two more five hour long epics that he's somehow being cheated. And I get it. Like his whole vision isn't being realized, but at the same time, there's part of me that's like, I, I almost, even if they did continue the Snyder verse, I'd almost be more interested if Snyder was like, okay, I'm going to stay on as a producer, but we're going to bring in, you know, George Miller to direct the nightmare movie or something along those lines, as opposed to him just being like, I'm going to direct 10 more DC films. You know, George Miller should have been there since day one. Yeah, he was going to do it. Snyder was just going to he was just going to create the injustice universe like the movies were just going to be injustice. Yeah. Um, And it's like, do I really want that? No, because here's the thing is that in getting the Snyder version of these characters, it's kind of an altered version, altered version of the characters from the comics. But we haven't even gotten the real version yet. We haven't actually seen the real Justice League, what they actually look like from the comics and the animated series and shit like that. So. Not saying that Joss Whedon's the person I want to do it or J.J. Abrams, but um, yeah, do I really want to like see a whole movie about like Superman turns evil and he kills everyone and the whole world is just in despair? Not really, because I haven't even gonna, seen the real Justice League in I'm live action honest, yet. I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to be honest, this was a Justice League movie I wanted. Like, if there was any type of Justice League movie that came out, this is exactly what I wanted it to be. It's, it's. I mean, besides, like, Darkseid not being the main villain. Like, he's close enough to the plot and mentioned him enough to at least be important. And I, I don't know. I thought it was a good good uh, build-up, too, from BVS and Man of Steel. Yeah, and I think that's fair. Took everything, it took everything from those two movies and a little bit from, like, you know, Suicide Squad from, like, Joker... And a little bit from, I mean, the rest of the universe and put it in a good little twist. And it tied it up pretty well. I mean, yeah, they could stop was... now. And like, we could, we could like, okay, cool. That was the center verse. Yeah, it was a good culmination of things. I think if it were me doing it, the first movie would be just about the team assembling. And then the, I, I'd have like the Injustice League. So like, I'd have some of the classic like Lex Luthor as, as the villains. And then you have that ominous threat of dark side potentially coming into the picture and then this would probably be my justice league 2 is like the third act of this movie where they're fighting steppenwolf and then third movie would be the big conclusion with dark side invading right that's the way to go usually but but in your cut where does batman impregnate lois lane what movie Uh, it's it's in front of the three singing women as they're sniffing aquaman (laughs) and (laughs) Okay, is 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 Flash like? Yeah, he's putting motorboating some boobs somewhere. That was an accident again, <laughs> dude. Have you guys read uh, Joss Whedon's Wonder Woman script that he wrote back in like the early oh, yeah. 2000s? Oh yeah, she gives he gives he makes it so she gives someone a lap dance. Yeah, what? To what? Distract the bad guys. Joss Whedon made Wonder Woman give someone a lap dance. Uh-huh. Yes, that's. Let's well, see. I think we can all agree Joss Whedon is probably one of the worst people in Hollywood right now. It's <laughs> direct Batgirl. Like, that would have been a dumpster fire. I'm so glad well, that, that his career is that like... Barbara Gordon dodged. 
I'm just glad. <laughs> oh <my God>. I'm <laughs> just glad <laughs> his career. <laughs> I'm just glad his career is over. No more Joss no. Whedon. We have moved past the need for Joss Whedon in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, Avengers yeah, one no. and two aren't even that good. Well, I mean they're 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 okay. They're not the best things ever. Yeah, yeah that just... guy's probably directing a movie right now. <laughs> no, he's not. He's been completely ostracized from Hollywood. He's directing his own home movie. You don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's him waiting for divorce papers from his wife. <laughs> He's he actually, he actually is making face. How I he actually is life. making Justice League too. It's just in his basement. He's like... <laughs> yeah, and it's with action figures, right? Or Lego? Is it Lego? <laughs> yeah, Lego. Lego stop it's... motion. Yeah. Oh That's man, cool. this is release the Snyder cut, but it's the Legos. I want to see someone do that. Lego the Snyder cut. Four hours. <laughs> it's gonna kill. Oh people. god, that would take like Jeez. five years. <laughs> Ezra Miller would have choke slammed another woman by the time, and at that point, he got canceled. Dude, Amber Mil- uh, Amber Heard got caught red-handed. Kind of. Yeah. Oh, I saw longer. that. Ray Fisher like body slams chicks in parking lots for no reason. Ray uh, Fisher? Or you mean Ezra Miller, right? Ezra, Ezra Miller. Did I say Ray Fisher? I'm sorry. Ezra Ray Miller. Yeah. Good one. Ezra Miller just body slams people in parking lots. <laughs> you want to uh, fight? <laughs> Yeah, Joss Let's Whedon is up. evidently abusive. He uh, cheats on his wife, and he is a feminist who likes to sleep with all of his female co-workers. 